first and foremost, I want to start off to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and do rule well and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutation to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth. Shalom. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And that beast, that another beast, that is the revived Roman Empire. Uh, the, the empire of the Edomites, the so-called white man, you know, is revived, is, is back. And we are living in that current empire right now, man, you know. And he had horns like a lamb, you know. A lamb looks all innocent, you know. And you see where how a lamb is looking, but he spake as a dragon. It's the, the his draconian laws, man. It's his his the way he he pushing his agenda, you know. That is that 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 dragon voice, you know, with that that uh, fire out of his his mouth and nostrils, you know, smoke out of his nostrils, fire out of his breath. That is the way the so-called white man is or Edom is speaking, man, you know. And let me go to that word beast. You know, then you're clearly going to see that it ain't talking about a real beast. Uh, this goes, uh, uh, Tahirion, uh, Tahirion, uh, and it goes into an animal, a wild animal, wild beast, beast, metaphor, because this is a metaphor, a brutal, bestial man, savage ferocious and uh in the book of job how the most high is uh, uh stated uh Esau edom you know how Esau edom uh, is stated it's like a base man a savage you know job say, said he did, didn't want to see have him even with the, the 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 flock of his dogs you know and that is Esau Edom, a brutal, bestial man, savage, ferocious, you know. And in the strong, yeah, you know, a dangerous animal, a feminist, wild beast. But that is, uh, that is what he is, you know. He is, uh, he is, he got the, the, all the traits of a wild, ferocious, feminist, uh, venomous, wild beast, man. You know, but in human form. So, yeah, man. Uh, I want to go to an article. That's why I pulled this uh, precept out, you know, because this is all Revelation 13, uh, uh, and especially uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. Uh, let me read the article. Bear with me. Australia launches green social credit score system linking customers tr uh, customer transactions to carbon footprint and uh, we've been speaking about this especially uh, the man in great millstone from the apostles and up down about this uh, 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 carbon footprint you know going into in this because this is what they are uh, pushing this agenda you know about this so-called climate change uh to push people to the edge that's why the sky uh the electric bills and gas bills uh skyrocket and especially here in the in the netherlands you know we pay one of the highest prices nowadays in whole europe you know so people are losing it a lot of business need to shut down like the bakeries and everything is shut it down because why they pushing this to that new world order they want a social credit score system where they can control and track everybody you know and have all control total control over your money so you're going to be a digital slave and that is what esau is pushing in and is heading into that man uh, in a previous video, I saw you an article from 2005 that they say 
they said that they had for 150 years uh, for fossil fuel. What happened? So that's you see that Esau Edom is lying constantly. Never trust him. Let me read. A major Australian bank has launched a green social credit score system where customers' carbon footprint is linked uh, to carbon allowance limits. So there you have it. So now they can uh, uh, tell you that you uh, ate too much uh, uh, meat. Uh, you can take, uh, you need to eat, you're going to eat the bugs that so you're going to be happy. Because this is all uh, uh, World Economic Forum pushing this agenda with the elites on top. Because this is what they want. They want to have total control over all people in the whole world. That's why they're doing all these things nowadays. That uh, 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 The war, what is going on, everything is orchestrated, man. To what? To push people to madness. To uh, uh, that they're gonna comply with that new system, what they're gonna bring. That's why it's that great, that big talk about uh, the digital ID, the CB, uh, CB, CBDC. If I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, but that is what they're pushing. A new, co uh, 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 how you call it, uh, uh, a digital ID plus a digital, uh, digital money, man. Mm -hmm. Where they can control everything, man, because that is what is in uh, coming through the pipeline. If we're gonna see this very soon. It has already happened now in Australia, man. You know, Australia's Commonwealth Bank (CBA) has partnered with Kogo, a carbon management solution company, to launch the new feature. The new feature, Salakia. <laughs> You know, and this is from a news point, you know, they got always good news. Summit News reports the bank gives the customer the option to pay a fee to, offs uh, to offset their carbon footprint with the average listed as uh, one, uh, 1,280 kilograms, a long way from the sustainable figure of 200 kilograms. Yeah, because this is the whole agenda what they are pushing, man, to track and trace everybody. And that's why uh, Australia is one of the, always the first in all these things, uh, like two years ago, you know, pushing these agendas, you know. Uh, people was locked down, all these things was the worst over there. Because why? The elites, they are doing this on purpose to get everybody upon their knees to uh to follow their uh, new world order man and that they have total control aaron russo was talking about it and aaron russo is the is the movie producer uh from um uh Salakia, the movie producer who made uh training places with dan Aykroyd, and eddie murphy and he was talking about that interview was from Alex Jones. Is still, I think, is still up in uh, on the internet. You can uh, look it up. And he was talking about it that what they want is to chip the chip the people, man. Uh, his his best his friend, uh, uh, what was his name? I think uh, Nick uh, Rockefeller. You know, from one of the powerful families, elites of the earth, man. And the, they are all always their big. The, the the big scheme, the big scam is to, they want to have total control of the people, man. Because they have all the natural resources, they got all everything, but what they don't have is control over your soul. And that is what they want. And that is the push, what they are pushing now to to accomplish their, their goal, man. And it goes also in through that uh, what the elder always is saying, man, that they want their birthright back, man, Esau Edom. They want to change uh, the, uh, the, 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 the prophecies and things about how it is written. They want to change it. That's why he have about a short time, you know. So these are these draconian laws that they are pushing on the, the the skies of carbon footprint, like uh, climate change and everything is is, is your fault, and they are pointing at you that you need to use um, uh, less uh, 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 things. 
you know, to to help the climate. Meanwhile, the the same people who pushed all these uh, products are the elites and gave it to the people. The people had no choice to take all these things. And now they are the same one that are pointed to you, but they are not going to stop uh, using uh, uh, private jets and all these things that uh, uh, can, uh, uh, how you call it, that, that can, uh, 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 the emission of the climate that they that they are can prevent it. They give you that good example. Let me say, say it like that, Salakia. You know, because they have they they their their things. Uh, one of these, pre I think, uh, President uh, uh, Bolsonaro from Brasilia. Correct me if I'm wrong. Said also to uh, uh, what is his name? That actor. Uh, from Titanic, uh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, Leo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio, he said to him, because he is also part of the WEF, some videos I show you that he is also over there, clapping his hands down with, with the climate change, a carbon, carbon uh, emission and carbon footprint and all that madness. Then Bolsonaro said to him, okay, if you are, uh, you are, uh the one that is up front uh, to stop uh you want to stop the climate change why you get don't get rid of your uh your uh cruise of, of of your private jets uh your private uh uh, uh your private yacht and your cars uh, your 20 cars because they are hypocrites all of them man because this is an agenda that they put on the poor that is what they're doing man <laughs> So, yeah, man, uh, let me read further and then I'll go to a few precepts, man. Yeah, you see here, October footprint in kilograms of CO2 uh, equivalent. In October, September, they saw you a natural average of 1,280%. Sustainable uh, footprint, uh, approximately 200 kilo a month. A person's carbon footprint is calculated and then an equivalent metric is shown to make the customer feel guilty about it. Like I was saying, they want to make you uh, <laughs> feel guilty about it if you are uh, uh, using too much carbon. And that is where they're going. He tried to be the most high, man. Matter of fact, let me go to, the, to that precept, man. Uh, let me go to... Uh, Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians two uh first mm, let me start with three. So okay. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. Let no man des deceive you by any means. So don't be deceived by uh, all these uh, things that Esau Edom is pushing out, man. You know, and especially your Israelites, man. Don't be deceived by these 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 uh, enchantments, because these are enchantments. It's witchcraft, man. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that the man of sin, and who's the man of sin? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, Satan, be revealed the son of perdition. And he's the son of perdition, man. All these things that he's pushing, the whole world is groaning and moaning, man. People are, 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 are tired, that people are sick. People can a lot of people can take it anymore, and also from themselves, man. A lot of people, you know, because they're destroying, this destroying all these businesses, man. The middle class, everything, man. And it is not. This is on purpose. This is not something like a. Hey, it's just just happened. This is on purpose. They doing this because, like I was saying, for that new world order, man. The the government want to have it all, so that they can control you. Because if there's still, uh, it's like uh, b before they took away cultivation, you know, because it is important that the man have a land so you can, uh, uh, you can subst sustain for yourself, uh, you can, you can uh, help yourself to, 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 to uh, have agriculture uh, planned for yourself, you know. 
they don't want that because if you can fetch for yourself, you don't need them. So what they need is to take all these resources. So you need to be the you need to depend on them for all your wants and needs because that is what they want. So they can play the Most High. That's why we're gonna read further, man. And he's the man of sin, you know. And he's be revealed nowadays. That's why. He tried to uh, come hard on and crack down on everything that is goes against his his narrative, and you see it. You see it, man. They censure in everything, man. Because why? He don't. He want to control the narrative. He don't want to be exposed, and he is exposed nowadays. If if he gonna before he can do his slick ways, but it don't it, 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 he cannot do it anymore. Even you got a lot of whistleblowers is coming out who was working before for them, and they they don't take it anymore, man. They be like, no, nah, hell, hell, no, nah, man. You going too far, man. Because this agenda, what they pushing is satanic. Verse 4, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. And what is that agenda that he's pushing? Uh, uh, Klaus Schwab, what he's saying? The fourth industrial revolution. What they want to do? transhumanism emerge man with machine that is satanic so you want to be the most high alter your dna that is all these plans of these devils man <laughs> you know this is what they want and all your governments are, are, are part of it man they're all in cahoots with them to push this agenda but they can't bring it in once they need to do it gradually and that is what you're seeing man that is Esau Edom, the man of sin, the son of perdition. And now he is exposed for the wickedness what he's doing, man. You know? Because he is the one that rule, rules the earth. There's no, no other nation that rules the earth like the Edomites, man. And his, natural, his true nationality, his biblical nationality is revealed. Why it was a construct that he made in 1681 in West Virginia, before they did, was not white. He's the red man. Like, uh, go to the book of Genesis, man. Jacob and Esau. He's the one who, that is the red man. Red like a, like a hairy garment. Because his blood shows to his skin, man. He, have, he has no pigmentation. And what the most high, <laughs> he hate Esau. Because these Christians said the Most High don't hate. The Most High hates Esau, man. You know? And that's why he's revealed, man. Hey, but this is what is going to happen with you, man. Uh, let me jump immediately to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Whom, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, because, hey, our Lord the Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is going to come and save his uh, people, man. The Israelites, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But not all of Israel, the remnant is going to be saved, man. Because two-thirds of our people who still wicked and still following these devils, you're going to be destroyed too, man. The most I have no respect of person, but what is the beautiful thing, like the brother Elder Malcolm always said, that you are the not sick Israelite because you're going to come back in the kingdom, man, in your right mind, in your right state, man, you know, and you're going to inherit this, this blessing of our forefather Jacob, man. But for now, man, hey, on this side, you're going to perish, man, if you don't hearken to the voice of Yahweh by Shem Yashai, man. We need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because that is the only way we're going to uh, be, uh, we can be rescued, man, and can be saved, man. You know, the, you have, there is nothing in this world, man. You, you, all the riches, you see, man, if you're going to have riches, they're going to control it, man. They're going to tell you, you need, <laughs> they're going to put it on and say, okay, if you want to have your money, because they're going to take all your money from the bank. 
and they're going to say to you, if you want to have this money, you got to take the chip, man. And what you're going to think, what these rich, uh, the people who got money, millions or something, they're going to take the chip because they don't want to lose their money, man. But hey, that is the, that is the mark of the beast. And what the most I said in the Revelation chapter 14, you know, you're going to be punished and burned with fire in the presence of the Lamb and the holy angels, man. And that is what is going to happen, man. And that's why we need to tell our people, don't take that chip, man. Don't take that thing in you, that karakma. Don't take it in you, man. Because if you're going to take it, you're going to perish, man. Yahweh Bashem Yashai is going to destroy you, man. Because you make you gonna you you make a an, an, an pact with the beast, with Isa Edom. So then you're gonna be his creation, man. Because when he uh, alter your DNA and uh, he is the one that is your God, man. Then you are not the creation anymore of our Lord and Savior of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That you are a creation of these Edomites, man, of these devils, man. So don't do it, man, because you're going to get be destroyed because the Most High allows Esau Edom so far to do what he needs to do to for, 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 for prophecy's sake to destroy him because he never going to measure the Most High, man. That is a, that is an, 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 a vain thinking of this devil, man, because the Most High put him up to do what he needs to do. Because why? He's the sword of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But he thinks because he got a little technology and he get <laughs> from the Most High that he can do what he wants and that he can sit in the throne of the Most High like I've been reading over here that thinking that he is God because he got the God complex, this, this devil, man. But hey, man, let me go back to the article, man. Okay. A person's carbon footprint is calculated and then an equivalent metric is, uh, is shown to make the customer feel guilty about it, such as eight trees being cut. By combining our rich customers' data and uh, CEO goes industry leading capability, uh, uh, capability Salakia, in measuring carbon in outputs, we will be able to provide greater transparency for our customers so they can take uh, uh, actionable steps to reduce their environment, uh, environmental footprint. And that CO goes, uh, let me go over there what that, uh, what it is, the CO, CO goes industry. I want to know what it is. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause I was looking at it and I was like, this is interesting, man. Uh, uh, ING and that is a Dutch bank. You know, uh, a lot of us are 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 uh, have this bank, you know, and well, look at this ING to trial CO goes carbon footprint print tracking app. So uh, ING from Holland is deep, deep, deep in uh, that carbon footprint tracking, and this is going to happen all over the world, you know, because these 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 central bankings they are are really busy to pu push this agenda like uh, the Central Bank of England, and they all already get these microchips so they can uh, <laughs> implement their new world order, man. Because that is what it's all about, man. That's why we see inflations so high. You know, they're printing a lot of money. The money is worthless. And what they're going to say, yeah, it is over, man. So we need to go to a new system. And that is the whole, that is that big push. That is the talk of these devils, man, the whole time. Uh, the Ursula from the liar, liar, all these devils, man, <laughs> you know, this was a plan already set up, man. And the things was that, 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 uh, that lock thing, what was happening two years ago, I don't want to say it because they strike me for telling the truth, you know, but that lock thing that was going on was a test run to see how the people going to comply, when they're going to push their, they're going to roll out their real agenda, you know. Because everything was a test. A lot of people can see it and they talk, oh, yeah, conspiracy this, conspiracy that. But hey, now they see they're losing their businesses, man. The same people who was, you know, like, oh, you can trust the government and blah, blah, blah. Now they see like, hey, they're losing everything, man. 
And it's going to get worse in 2023, man. It's going to get more and more worse. Because why? They want to get everybody on the up on their knees. And it's going to be a big pushback when the people are going to find out what is really happening, man. Because these elites have this all planned years and years and years ago, man. This is not something new. This was already planned from decades ago, man. This is nothing new. But hey, let me go to the article, man. Uh, ING. This is a Dutch bank. ING to trial uh, CO goes carbon footprint, tr uh, footprint tracking app. And this is an article from uh, August 8, 2022. ING has announced it will trial a carbon footprint tracking app offered by fintech firm uh, CO Go with 350,000 mobile and mobile clients. The footprint inside feature is, a, is being made available to clients who currently use the bank's inside function, which, which groups uh, their income and expense expenditure by spending uh, category footprint insight offers an estimate of the CO2 e emissions of the uh, client's overall spending. You see, that is what I'm talking about. That is that uh, credit score system. So uh, they're going to track you if you uh, buy too much uh, this week, you buy uh, too much meat. They're going to take it away from your bank. You're going to pay a fee, a fine, a salakia. You're going to pay a fine because they're going to punish you uh, for the for buying things that they don't want you to buy so they can be uh, they're going to control everything they're going to say you need to buy this uh, to, uh, tomorrow you're going to eat uh, worms you know and if you do the things that they want you're going to get credit if you don't do the things that they that they don't want they're going to decriticize you <laughs> if, if that even is a word but this is what Isa Edom is planning man you know, hey, we speaking about Satan. We this is nothing else, man. People was laughing by first that we were saying this, but the apostles were saying this decades ago, man, that this would happen, man. That the the the, the Revelation thirteen and sixteen, the Karakma, that they are pushing for that, man. And we know, cause that's why, hey, we are vigilant man, and we watch because we are the watchmen of Israel, man, and we watch these things, man. And we see what is going on. The prophets were telling you this, man. And especially your other camps who were saying that this is a, a philosophy and blah, 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 blah. Now you see, man. Now you see that this is the prophecies is really going to fruition because this is what our forefather was seeing, man. Uh, John the Revelator, man. When he was on the island of Patmos, he was seeing these visions about the mark of the beast that nobody, no one can, could buy or sell without it. And this we are at these times, man. These are these times, man. We are at the end, man. The prophecies, man. This a hey, yapa kalala yao bashem yashar because why? This is also our salvation, man. We're gonna come now to the end of of a rulership of a wicked kingdom, man. And our Lord the Savior is gonna come, man. And every eye and every everybody's gonna see him, man. Now they laugh, ah, but you're going to see Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorant called Jesus, the second coming, man. And you're going to see that it is no uh, Caesar Boshe, long hair, blue, ha blue eye, no, and he's coming with pompons and flowers. No, what he said, he's coming with a sword on the earth <laughs> to punish who? Esau either, man. The one that is in the rulership, man. And he's coming with the host of angels. And that is what is going to happen, man.